What's up, Joey? What's going on, brother? All right, good people. Thank you for tuning in to South Philadelphia Community Radio, WOOM 92.9 FM, giving you another edition of the 623 Radio Show. It's been a little while. And we, like I said, I, I'm going to try to do this show at least twice a month. But if not, um, at least at least once a month, we're gonna um, we're gonna try to do the show as much as possible. Um, right now, we're just super super busy. A lot of things going on. Um, I just left Greyhound. We're getting ready to vote soon. Just want to make sure everything's all right with them guys and gals down there. Um, so um, busy, 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 busy 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 uh so as you guys know yesterday we had a parking lot meeting went over a lot of stuff with our drivers um the importance of continuing to file the nine five grievances the importance for filing for supervisors working grievances um even the drivers everybody need to make sure that they do this i mean um you know right now it's 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 uh it's it's crazy. Uh, we were down there last week. We did a building raid at Oregon Avenue. And man, they had like a gazillion soups down there working and, and, and taking out trips. So we filed agreements for every last one of them guys. Um, so uh, we have actually a big, big meeting with labor tomorrow about a lot of issues that's been going on. Um, so we plan to address all of them uh, because it's, it's one thing that that they these guys got it. They made all this money in a pandemic, 1.77 billion dollars, and they still want to do the wrong thing. I I have no I have no idea why. Well, I do understand why. I mean they they've they've been doing that. So it's up to us to stand in that gap and make sure we hold them accountable, which we are and which we will continue to do. Um, so again, but it's going to take a group effort. Everybody is going to have to play their part. Everybody. Everybody is going to have to play their part. It's not just um, a group over here or a group over there. Everybody going to have to do this. It's just that simple. That's if you guys want to win against the company. Now, if you don't want to win, then, you know, this group can go over there. That group can do what they want to do. And then, you know, no one gets anywhere. But um, in order to win against this company, Everybody has to be on the same page. It doesn't matter if you like them or not, you agree with them or not, but the one thing that we do have to agree is that we all have to be together on this. And uh, that's going to be our mission tomorrow when we talk to these guys because, um, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's going on, a lot of stuff happening. And we want to make sure that moving forward, the company knows our position. So tomorrow, like I said, there's a uh, big meeting tomorrow. <laughs> big meeting tomorrow with us in the company uh so some other news we have we got another almost 14 grand in nine five grievances oh my goodness so that um that leaves us at right now about 74 almost 75 grand in nine five grievances so continue 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 to file those nine five grievances. Continue to file those supervisors working grievances. You have to file the grievances. Um, if you don't file, then nothing, you know, it's, it's, it's just that, uh, it's just that, it's just that, it's, it's nothing really is gonna happen unless people start participating and filing grievances. Um, you know, let me see what we got here. 
Yeah, yeah, Rick. I mean, I know, dude. Uh, but this, this, this COVID, man, it hasn't been kind to any transportation industry, especially the bus. Um, like when I go to Greyhound, man, there's there's no buses in the lot, um, and the buses that they do have, they're going to New York City, and there's not a lot of revenue in that. But again, you know. If our members shoot it down, um, what's up, what's up, sis? If our members shoot it down, we can go back to the table. And that'll be a good thing. That'll be a good thing, and I'm looking forward to it. Whatever whatever the members decide is what we're going to do because we work for them. So I'm, I'm excited. Um, you know, Like I said, um, we work for them, and I'm excited to see what they say. Um, so, yeah, they're making a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, so. We'll see what happens. Either way, either way, I'm excited about what happens either way. If, if they vote it down, that's good. If they don't, that's good. Uh, so it, it's, it's, it's going to be a good, either way, it's going to be a good day on Friday. Um, that's the way I'm looking at it. Either way, it's going to be good. Either way, it's going to be a good day on Friday. Uh, so again, uh, to, tomorrow, uh, we got a big man meet with the company. By a lot of issues that's going on at UPS, especially at Oregon Avenue. Um, they want to discipline our guys and gals um, who just exhausted from working. They're exhausted from working, working almost 60 hours a week. Then they want to come in on their day off, and if they don't come, they want to discipline. That, that's, that's, not go that's not good. That's, that's not, that's not going to happen. And so, you know, uh, we're going to talk about the, that with them tomorrow because um, they they in trouble, especially with the Amazon building um, getting ready to open up right across the street from Oregon Avenue. They better change the way they do business with our members, man, because a lot of those members, especially the younger ones, they're going to go right across the street. Um, you know, if you think about it, what Amazon <laughs> did, uh, they pay attention. They pay attention to, uh, you know, what's going on at UPS. You know they do. They watch. So when members complain about how they treat the people, when they complain about how uh, the heat exhaustion, when when they when they they, they 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 hear all that, they hear all that. So what they did is they got a, a fully air conditioned building, and their trucks, the delivery trucks, are air conditioning. And you know that was that's been a big big mm -hmm. issue for our members. Especially um, during the winter, uh, the summer months. Uh, I'm telling you, UPS is in trouble, man. Christmas is coming too. All those people, all especially the younger ones, between about 18 and 23, they, I, I can tell you, even the supervisors, they're gonna be out. So they need to change the way um, they're doing business. Uh, period with our members, because Amazon is gonna take a full advantage of it and Christmas is coming and UPS is not going to have anybody to do anything and they're going to be stuck they're going they're going to be stuck so if it was me if I was UPS and uh Friday is Founders Day what I would do to try to combat what's going on with the morale Amazon I would come out on Friday and say you know what since this is Founders Day, we're going to give back to our, all our members that helped us make 1.77 billions in the pandemic. And I would come out and say, you know what? We're giving all our workers hazard pay. Man, I would, I would make it, I would, I would make it real, real big on Friday since it's their anniversary. I would make it, I would make it real, real big. I would, I would really spotlight the members and all the workers. I would do that. I would do that. I would definitely do that. Yeah, they 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 need to do something, Cal. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to do something. They're gonna have to. Um, they're gonna have to raise the wage. They're gonna have to be considerate of those people that they keep trying to um, discipline for call. How you how you get discipline for not wanting to come in on your day off? But that's that's what these guys are trying to do to our people. 
But again, tomorrow we got a big meeting about all this stuff. And I don't want to. I don't want you guys to think that um, nothing is happening, because I, I had to scale back a lot of stuff that I put on uh, social media, uh, because unbeknownst to a lot of you guys, uh, a lot of guys, um, mem uh, either members of this, uh, I would say I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do it clean. Cause I don't want to get 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 too you know caught up in everything. So I'll just say this: a lot of the stuff that we put out, what happens is um, either some of our members and some other people um, around the area uh, in positions like mine, what they do is they send it to the company. And for the life of me, I thought that we were supposed to be a union. I, I really did. But to see what really goes on behind closed doors, man, uh, sometimes I even second guess myself, like, is, is this position worth the politics? Is it worth it? Because if we're doing something at 623 and we're trying to make life better here for our members, then don't try to deter that and don't try to give us a black eye because of whatever you're doing over there and you feel some type of way or because you was thinking that we were going to fall on our face and and try and it's it's so much stuff that I'm finding out that I'm like man this 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 is crazy what happened to just the leaders the uh coming to work fighting for fighting for the membership getting them their their best effort you know we're not perfect we're going to make mistakes but we still come together and fight the company, but all this other stuff that's going on, man, I'm sitting back like, oh my God, this is like high school, kindergarten stuff that if I could, if I could, if I told you some of the stuff that, that goes on, man, you'd be like, man, is, is this really a union? I mean, but again, um, you know, I'm not going to let the politics change who I am. Uh, it's not going to transform me. It's not going to stop me from being who I am. Um, my goal is number one to make sure we do right by the members at 623 and somewhere along that way we change the politics we transform the politics we transform the union uh, because the way it goes now the company will always win if we stay on this path if we stay on this 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 road that we on dude we <laughs> We were the company will always win. I'm just gonna tell you. And 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 you know the politics, I get it. It's a necessary evil, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and this is just me. Um, in 2016, um, it was a transformational movement. Everybody from all across the country, you knew that we were in a union. Well, Kyle, the, 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 in 2016, because um, I got the letter from Cowie, in 2016, they, they put it all on one list, right? With the idea that they were going to go back to it to read, to see, um, to explore the idea of splitting it again, right? So um, when we got in office, we said, no, we don't want to change it. We don't want to change it. Keep it one seniority list, one one list, one list, one list, one list. So, um, Cowie and uh, the two other managers up there and feeders, they seem to think that it's the best thing to do. Of course, we're fighting it. Um, I don't know if you know, but uh, we're fighting it all the way. Um, we, Kamak has actually been in, 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 in conversations with a lot of the, the, uh, the members up there. Uh, the shop stewards have been talking with a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, and that's going to be brought up tomorrow as well because we always said one list, one list. That's the way it was told to me when we first got in. Keep it one list. Keep it one list. Keep it one list. So that's the plan. Now, um, we're going to talk about it tomorrow, and, you know, and, and we're going to have conversations with the feeder department about that uh, because, you know, I, I understand why they wanted one list and I understand why the company wanted two lists because of the whole um, the biz 
going up and all this other it's, it's a whole lot of questions a whole lot of issues with that so we're in and, and a lot of questions that we're going to ask tomorrow you know about why are they doing this and uh, like i said uh there's already been conversations with the shop stewards and with other senior members in the feeder department about that so um when we get more information uh trust me you guys are gonna know about it you know we go, you're gonna know about it so uh we got you but right now this is just 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 a preliminary stage a lot of questions are going to be answered tomorrow um so stay tuned kyle and the rest of the guys up there in the feeder department uh you know we're going to get back with you trust me yeah we already been having discussions about it with like i said with a lot of the feeder guys so yeah yeah so we got you guys trust me um so uh getting back to what i was saying before about um the whole politics thing right uh Dude, this, I get it. I get it that it's necessary. I get that. But like I said, in 2016, there it was a transformational movement. You felt more, um, you felt more like a union. Uh, with everything that's going on now with this 2021, 2020, 2021 thing, it's more of a company and not a union. And that's just the way I see it. I mean, I, it, it, that, 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 that compassion, that that effort, that idea, all that that we had in 2016, I don't feel that in this campaign. I, I really don't get that. Uh, I don't get it because a, a lot of it is you have a lot of finger pointing, a lot of finger pointing from both sides. Like, well, you know, this side said, well, he hit you with his right hand. The other side is saying, well, he hit you with his left hand. But the problem is the member still got hit, no matter what hand it was. We still got hit from members from both both parties. And now we have to figure out who's going to be the best one to, to lead uh, our, our Teamsters Union. Um, it's, it's going to be a very difficult, difficult task. Um, I think, like I said, whoever wins, um, even before even before the voting process begins, even before the delegate convent, uh, convention, if we have one because of this COVID. And I wonder, and I'm, I'm going to get back to that, but I wonder if COVID is still around and it's still causing havoc, what is the plan going to be? Are we going to do it regionally? Like say everybody in the East meet up somewhere and we vote Central, South, and the West. Maybe they do something like that instead of having everybody come together. Um, I don't know if Zoom is going to be able to do that. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I, I'm Rick. I'm with you, man. This this is tough, dude. This is tough. This is tough, man. It's a tough situation to be in. That's why um, my endorsements, man. I like I said, you guys read it. You know, I'm endorsing hope, truth, trust. I'm endorsing compassion. I'm endorsing um, any uh, 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 any uh, any uh, strike against the company. I'm endorsing fighting against concessions like in 2013 and 2018. Um, uh, I'm endorsing, um, you know, not intimidating members. Uh, I'm endorsing um, participation, uh, more participation from the members. I mean, you guys read who I'm endorsing. And, and I think that if any of those candidates, if anybody has an issue with any of those candidates that that we just talked about then then you are the problem then you are the problem we need to get everybody on the same page that's if we want to win because regardless of who wins this next IBT election if the members don't participate if the members don't feel comfortable with who who's in in, in office dude these companies are still going to steamrollers they still going to get what they want and after what happened the last two contracts with UPS I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. They do not care who wins. I um, mean, especially after that last one, dude. They were willing to go back to the table, <laughs> and and it was our own people that said no. And these people are running on both slates. A lot of them are, and we're supposed to try to pick out of. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. 
But getting back to 623, again, man, I want you guys to know there's a lot of stuff that I had to stop putting online because of the fact that there's a lot of people who send this stuff to the company. There's a lot of other, 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 um, other, I'll just say a lot of other people who send the stuff to the company. And, uh, we, we got to be on the same page, man. That's, the, that's just the bottom line. So, like, right now, I got something that I do want to share that I'm going to bring up tomorrow um, at our meeting that I came up with an MOU that's going to help our members on this working a six punch. This is going to help you all out. But I know if I put it out there, it's going to give it's going to give the company a heads up and all this other kind of stuff. So the only people that know about it are the BAs, and everybody's on board with it. So, uh... So, Daryl, uh, hey, call me. Call me because I was talking to some members about it last night. And, like, again, I'm not going to disparage anybody. Um, and I'm not going to put out a whole lot of stuff um, to, 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 to disparage people, even though it will be the truth. But, again, I cannot let this company, um, again, they take stuff, man, and they do their best to divide it. They tried it at our first meeting. They tried it um, last about last week on another thing. Dude, their their goal is just to divide this board, divide the local. And I'm not going to let that happen. So if anybody got any questions about about anything on the e-board, any member, any any um previous BA or whatever you want to call it please just call me you got you got my number um, you can inbox me and we'll talk about it uh, but call me uh, if you if you're not if you're not in the local uh, call me if you are we can have uh, you know we can have hey I appreciate that John I appreciate that and I, 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 we look up to you guys over there as well man you guys do a great great job and I thank you for all your help um, and preparing me for this job uh i, I appreciate that but uh yeah there uh anybody man we'll talk about it and i'm not listen i want to say this i will say this though everybody that we ran with um we worked together we were outside for years on the side of the road in the cold in the rain and I know the optics of it looks bad. Because I heard some people say, oh, man, it looks like, you know, you use this. We didn't use, well, I'll say this because I don't want to put nobody else in it. I personally, we, I didn't use anybody. Um, again, I'm not going to disparage anybody, put anything out there. Because I know how they, the people like to change the narrative to fit what they want. Because um, no matter what we do negativity sales like for an example right now we got about seventy five thousand dollars and now five grievances paid in since june now that's not going to be spotlighted but let's say i if i took or if i spent seventy five thousand dollars man that will be on the front page of everybody everybody that didn't everybody that just whatever whatever don't like me for whatever reason whatever that would be on the front page. They would tell you how I stole the money. They would tell you how I did this. They would tell you. And you notice the 75 grand, bringing people back to work, uh, uh, all this other stuff that we're doing, making history with the city council, getting all these things passed. You know, all this stuff will not be spotlighted. And I, and you know what? And to an extent, it, 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 I agree because that's our job. That's our job to do those things. But on the flip side, negativity sells. And I was telling my wife the other day that um, negativity, all these guys that talk so much trash and all that, they are necessary. They are. Believe it or not, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I'm going to give you a practical reason um, that everybody can understand. Um, your car battery, it has a negative terminal and it has a, po a positive terminal. If you disconnect the positive, the car won't stop. If you disconnect the negative, 
the car won't stop. You need both in order for the car to start. We driving the car. This 623 car. There's a there's an amount of negativity to go with the positive. You gotta have it. So when people say hooker, you this hooker, I pay more attention to that because um, that's how you grow. We're not perfect. We're gonna make mistakes. It's our job to make sure that we don't make those mistakes continuously. Then we're gonna be like our previous guys, and then we're gonna be in trouble. Our guy, our job is to grow, continue to grow. Don't continue to do the same thing, because we have to build on everything that we do every day, uh, because we don't want to get stagnant. So all the hate, all the negativity, um, I embrace it because I know it's a part of the job, and you do need need those types of things to help help you moving forward. Because even even too much sun burns. You gotta have some rain sometime. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. So when I see when people send me stuff um, about what people say, I appreciate it. I don't get mad um, because I know it's necessary. Uh, and and I actually gravitate more to the negative stuff than I do the positive stuff because of the positivity is what we're supposed to be doing anyway. Like for an exact so for an example. We won our election this go around, right? But I, I'm, I'm focused more on the fact that we lost by 37 votes. I still remember that number. I still remember how that felt. And I fo and I don't ever want to feel that again. So I'm going. To, we're going to do everything we can so we won't have to feel that way. You know what I mean? I just, just the way I am. I focus on the, the negativity stuff more than, hey, Hooker, you're doing a good job. Thank you for this. I appreciate it. But I don't let that get. I don't let that sit in my spirit too long, because then you start thinking you're better than everybody. You start thinking. You start feeling that you're entitled, and I don't ever want that to come up on me because this is not an entitlement job. We work for the membership. We try to do everything we can to promote them and everything that we do. So, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what we're going to continue to do. So all the ne all the negativity, man. I appreciate it. I'm telling you. Um, you know, I, I just just the way I am. You know, I I don't know how to describe it, but I pay more attention to what the naysayers are saying than everybody else because you grow from struggle, you grow from pain. Uh, where there's no struggle, there's no progress. You know, when you go when you go to the gym, and you know, yeah, I'm, hey man, hey Kurt, man, you gonna have to send me some of that, man. Man, I <laughs> I wish I had you some right now, man. Yes, sir. Hopefully, hopefully I can get down there um, and get me some soon. I know we got a panel down that way next month. So uh, maybe I can stop on the way and get me some Popo Jangles. <laughs> ah, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate, I mean, that's just the way I am, man. I don't know how to describe it, but, you know, when I see certain things and hear certain things, uh, it just motivates me more to do the job better because like i said we're not perfect we're gonna make mistakes you know this is our eighth month in the job and you know we're doing a great job we are regardless of what you see and what you hear from, from the negative side we are doing we are doing the job and tomorrow we're going to get a lot of our, our our grievances heard a lot of our questions answered uh, especially for the feeder department their whole splitting the, the two list thing up um, for all these years, well, in 2016, they first came to the to the to the to the local, and we're talking about they were going to make it one list, and then revisit it, you know, as time went along. But there, but there's there's some good things to it, and then there are some some bad things to it. That's why um, once we get a lot of our questions, and we're going to come to the feeder department, we're going to have a meeting, we're going to talk about it. Um, because there's some questions. Like I said, Kamak has been a, doing a good job. He's been talking to a lot of the guys up there about their issues with it, their concerns, and we're going. And that's why we're having this meeting tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff going on, especially at Oregon Avenue, man. Um, it's just, you know the fact that these guys are trying to bully our guys. Um, you know that that's that's not going to happen. You know, and UPS need to realize that people are not breaking down the door to get in there to work no more. They're not tearing the door down, especially when you got companies like Amazon who, you know, start you out probably at full time, probably with around the same hourly wage. Now, they're not union, but when you're about 18 to 23, you're, you're not really worrying about that, you know, and, and UPS need to change the way they do business 
internally with our members. They they got to. If they don't, uh, this could really be the beginning of of the end for what they do. And um, and if we don't start fighting them, um, it's going to be a long battle for the teamster. So we all gotta we all gotta fight. We all gotta be together, together, together. So uh, we get ready to go on break. Uh, you're listening to W O O M ninety two point nine, giving you another edition of the six two three radio show on South Philadelphia Community Radio. There we go. Yeah, there. I'm. I'm gonna call you, man. Um, I don't. I don't want. I don't want the, the narrative to be switched because, you know, everybody got their own story, and like I said, the narrative is gonna be switched a thousand times, and, and and I get it and I understand, but, you know, we we, we got to keep moving forward, and. Uh, Hey, Joan, I can't talk about it on here because uh, they're going to send it to they're going to send it to everybody and I don't want to give anybody a heads up what we plan on doing. You know what I mean? But trust me, after but after we um, give it to them on Thursday uh, I'll, I'll definitely be talking about it. All right, good people, we're back. You're listening to WOM 92.9, um, South Philadelphia Community Radio, giving you another edition of the 623 Radio Show. Hey, listen, I'm glad you guys are listening to the show. Um, again, I'm going to try my best to at least do this twice, if not twice, um, I at least can try to do it once a month because I know a lot of our members, um, they love the show and uh, just so much stuff going on right now with Greyhound and the company and the UPS. A lot of things happening. Uh, we're trying to do some organizing work to add more people into our local, which is looking really, really good. Now, it's going to take some time, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just busy, busy, busy time. Good time, but busy time. So, again... Thursday, we have a meeting with the company about a lot of issues that a lot of people have been seeing. I know there's, you know, it, it seems like that um, nothing's being done, but it is. It's just that, that we can't broadcast everything that we do like uh, we once did because I found out uh, about in April or May about what was going on behind the scenes when we did stuff like that. Um, so, um, you know, we're not going to do that as much. The, the, the pertinent stuff like um, when meetings going to be, in it, uh, you know, grievances on how to file them, certain things. Now, after we talk to the company about certain things, and we will give you our, their response. Now, we will continue to do that. But before these meetings take place, I, I, can't, I can't give out that information because, again, of what has been going on. Um, by a lot of other people, they just go back into the company, everything that we do. I mean, they tell them everything. They tell them everything that we do. So I got to be careful when I put stuff out there because for some reason, for some reason, um, <laughs> they want they just want us to fall on our face. Um, uh, I get the company wanting us to, but I don't know why our own people want us to. That, that, that boggles my mind um I, but that's a story for another day 
Uh, so we're gonna continue to do what we're doing. And uh, again, uh, there's no there's no way that somebody calls out on a day off and they get disciplined. That's not gonna happen. So again, tomorrow we're gonna straighten all that stuff out. Tomorrow at Oregon Avenue, uh, we got a meeting with the company. Uh, there's some things that we came up with on our on our own. Um, Paul, do listen, man. I I uh, it's it's amazing, and this is why the union will always be um, put on a back burner. This is why labor can't jump over that hurdle because we are our own worst enemy. I mean, this is not even well. It is political. Now, now you see, Paul. Now you see why I hate politics. It's it's all about politics. I cannot let uh, a group of people continue to do to work hard and to do the right thing, because if they do, then it may hurt me uh, in my political future. But it's not about politics. It's not. It can't be. It has to be about the people. It ha it always has to be about the people. Uh, the soon as it's not about the people, then the labor loses. Families lose, members lose, we all lose. The middle class lose. I mean, I, I just don't get why people just don't um, work together. Listen, we ain't got to like each other. But, man, we should always be together against the company. Always. And, and that's the thing that bothers me. I, as much as we may win it back and forth with our previous administration, dude, there was no way no way i was not going to be on the front lines with them fighting this company i don't care who in office i don't care if it's o'brien verma hoffa uh whoever it is if it's time to fight against this company dude i'm on the i'm on the front line dude i don't care what it is if we striking if somebody trying to take our rights i don't care who in office we're going to stand together in solidarity just just the way it is i just don't get why people your own people will tear you down to benefit the company. I just, I don't get it. Listen, you may not like the fact that we won, but we're here and we're going to do the job and we're doing the job. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, uh, <laughs> I just don't get it. Listen, I can't change the way I look because I know that's still an issue. We talked about that a little bit um, and it's been brought up a lot to me. That people still have issues um, with my uh, race, um, and I'm going to go in and say it here that um, it doesn't matter my my political uh, position or my office. Um, some people still see me as, you know what? Uh, that's fine, but I still got to do the job. Uh, that's 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 all I can do. They're gonna rather or not. Uh, if we want or not, dude, there's nothing I can do about my color. There's nothing I can do about my race. And I, and I think a lot, and a few of our board members, you know, especially Kamak, uh, when he hears it, he really takes it to heart. Uh, me, on the other hand, I, I could care less. People can call me whatever they want to call me. I, I, I just don't care. But, because um, I got a job to do. And, but, Joan, it, it, to me, it just, mm -hmm. it just doesn't matter to me, Joan. It just doesn't because if I focus on what people call me, then I shouldn't be here. Uh, somebody, I, I heard this quote a long time ago. It's not what people call you. It's, it's who you answer to. It's who you, I mean, they can call me whatever. That's not who I am. And, uh, you know, so I, I just, I, I, I just don't care. Uh, I'm just the way it's just going to be. Uh, all, all the, all the, the race stuff, I don't care. The negativity, that stuff just helps me be a better person um helps our board be a better leadership board because they gotta deal with it too they gotta deal with it just like me um so um and i and, and I, I thank god for them man i do because they take a lot of heat because of my color they do There's a lot of stuff man you guys just don't know man and and come back and and I, and I love him with all my heart he takes it to heart man he takes it he takes it to heart Man, you should see him. When it come up, man, the hair on his arms, you can literally see them stand up because it bothers him so bad that in 2020, 
that is still an issue. And in a union. Now, listen, we get the whole, listen, America, whatever, race, race, race. But to me, if any place racism does, should not belong, it's in a union. Dude, it, we're fighting the same enemy. We are, all of us, when you clock in and clock out, you're fighting the same enemy. You are. No matter what color you are, UPS do not care what color you are. They will fire you. They're, put it like this. The people that got a warning letter for call out on their day off, they were all mixed colors. UPS didn't care. So why does the union care <laughs> what color you are? But that's just the way it is. Just, just the way it is. It, it shouldn't be that way, but it is. And I'm gonna be honest, man. Listen, I don't care about what people say. The race thing, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me one bit. Um, it, it really doesn't. It, it really, it really doesn't at all. Um, like I said, the negativity part of this job, where people say the race stuff, it really helps me become a better person. Because, um, listen, negativity, it just, it, it strengthens you. It, it, it helps you get stronger. Um, so I don't, I just don't care about it, you know. Uh, and we're just going to keep doing the job. We are. We are. And I'm proud of my guys, man. They, they take a lot of heat um, for, for my color. They do. And, and, I, and, and I love those guys. Um, I'm glad to be in the trenches in the war with them every single day. And I appreciate them guys very, very much. And, you know, it's just a part of life. You got to gotta have thick skin. And my skin is, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Ever since of, of June 18, 2018, um, nothing really is going to get to me. I I'm just going to tell you. And everybody knows what that means. Um, that day was one of the worst, best days ever with my the whole situation with my old lady. Dude, that day, really, I, I could care less what anybody says. I I I just, just the way I feel. Um, so I just don't care, but we're going to fight this company and we're going to continue to, uh, tomorrow's going to be a big day. A lot of those questions that people have are going to be answered tomorrow. And I don't want you guys to think that we just sitting back, letting it happen. Not grievances. We got do well, well over a hundred, well over a hundred, um, at eight, at eight hours, even more a day. Um, so there's a lot of money that's going to have to be paid out for all them supervisors working. Like, again, just because you don't see it posted up online doesn't mean it ain't happening. We had to take a step back, and I, and I, and I told you guys why. Uh, because, um, dude, it's just a lot of people, <laughs> just a lot of people who just want us to fail. And I didn't know until I seen it for myself. I sat down and talked to people about it. And it was like, Hooker, these people want you to fail. They don't care about the grievances winning. They don't care about people coming back to work. They don't care about the billing raise. They don't care about uh, the money growing. They just want you to fail, Hooker. And I said, why? Well, I mean, what you mean? That's crazy. We all supposed to be brothers. So I got you. And I love you anyway. And we're still going to fight for you. All those people, we're still going to fight for you. <laughs> and I still love you not gonna change not gonna change our fight not gonna change anything um and i appreciate you i do um i i do man uh so the summer picnic we're not gonna have a summer picnic this year because of the whole covid we talked about that at our parking lot meetings yesterday uh uh, so that's not going to happen. Um, we're going to continue to have Zoom general membership meetings throughout the course of the year because as of right now, the uh, governor does not want to have more than 25 people in our building. So we got to keep that up. Um, so hopefully next year we can get back to um, having meetings. Um, our delegate plan was accepted. We talked about that for our parking lot meeting. We have four delegates now and four alternates, so um, that's happening. You can check our website out for more information about that. Um, the 623 store is live. Go on our website, get what you want. I Man, we, <laughs> we actually had somebody from Australia buy something yesterday, so that was pretty good. We, so I was thinking about changing the name from 623 uh, 
LM to uh, 623 International now. Now I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, but now, nah, guys, man, listen. Uh, man, this thing keep doing this. Man, it's becoming too close. I don't know. But uh, tomorrow's a big day. We'll be able to answer a lot of questions. Um, we have, we're starting our Women's Caucus. Um, 623 Women's Caucus is starting up. Joan Lay Miller is going to be the chair. Uh, we're hashing over some some details about that. That's going to be put up there. We ordered some shirts some for our, for our, for our uh, the members that want to join that caucus. Uh, that's, that's getting ready to start up, man, because I, I want our women to have more of a voice. And I'm still kicking myself. Um, that's going to probably be um, one of the things that I, I, I am mad about is not having a woman on the board or a woman BA. But that could change if we grow. Um, you know, we add more people. You know, we definitely got to get um, a woman on there because representation matters. It, it matters. Uh, you can't have a union for and by the people if it's not represented by all of the people. And, you know, and I kick myself about that, man, because you know, that's one of the things that, you know, I, I uh, sh you know, yeah. But moving forward, I want our women to have a bigger voice. That's why on our delegate team, we're going to make sure that we have, it's made up of, of, of some good, you know, some women on our delegate team. You know, we all, we already got them set. Um, and I, I'm just excited, guys. I know right now it's a lot of, it's, it's a trying time. Working six days a week. You know, you're not seeing your family in a pandemic. You know, no hazard pay. You know, no, no consideration for your family. You're being threatened if you don't come to work. Athena gave him almost 60 hours. And um, you feel like the union is not doing anything, but we are. Trust me, you are. We just can't put it out there and spotlight it like we must, you know, once once we did or once we could do. But it's happening. And after tomorrow, we'll be able to give you a uh, more detailed um, information moving forward about the plans of the company, you know, our plans. Like I said, I have an MOU that I came up with over the weekend. Not going to talk about it now uh, because, again, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to give these guys a heads up. Um, so it should be good. Uh, you know, the company says they want to be gentlemen about it. So we're going to be gentlemen. Uh, I don't, can y'all hear me? I got a text saying nobody can. Something happened. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all see? I'm still here. I don't know what happened. No, I still see people, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, all right, Ron. Yeah, so again, man, you know, uh, everybody got to get together. That's the key. Um, we need the drivers, inside workers, all those grievances everybody got to work together that was our main message yesterday at our parking lot meeting because this is i'm gonna tell you guys something i will tell you it's gonna get it's gonna get ugly because we're not gonna be we're not gonna bend on a lot of things that i in my back of my mind that i know they want and i gotta have a meeting with my guys after the show um we're gonna be talking about it um because just some things i picked up on by talking to different people that i want to make sure that we are ready um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to get ugly. And I know that the company is going to try to turn the members against us. I know they are. They're going to come to you and tell you, we won't be like this if Hooker and them guys will give us a break. I'm telling you guys now. If you guys come to work, there's nothing the company can do to you. If you can't come to work, you gotta pick up the phone and call. If there's a pattern that you off the same day or once a week, they're gonna come after you. And we can no longer be held hostage because people don't wanna to come to work. So when they share this video and try to make it seem like I don't wanna fight for people because this, 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 that, listen, we can't be held hostage. We are a union. Everybody gotta to work together. There's ways, if you got family issues, 
get FMLA. If you got COVID related stuff, follow the guidelines, get the, you know, go online, fill everything out, protect yourself. I'm telling you, they're going to come after our guys for attendance because we're going to go after them for every time they touch a box. We've been doing that, and now after tomorrow, I think it's going to get worse. Just, just me looking into the future. Um, there's just certain things that we can't, we can't bend on. We try to, you know, we try to do certain things, but it's not working. So, come to work, do the job. If you can't, you gotta call. You gotta call. I'm telling you, you got to call. FMLA issues. If you got some things going on at at home, family. You know something going on with your personal life, with yourself. There's ways that, that you that you can be protected, but you got to follow. You got to follow the steps on our website www.teamsterslocal623. Listen, everything you need, how to get FMLA, um, how to the disability forms. I mean, listen, we got everything on that website. All you need to look on it, print it out, boom, 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 everything. But we don't want to give them. Like, like Joan just said, we don't want to give them the bullets to use against us. Everybody got to be together. I know this is not popular to try to tell people, hey, you got to come to work, especially from the union side. But listen, I'm, I'm telling you, man, we, we cannot be held hostage because people don't want to come to work. We, we can't. We can't. Because that's what they're going to do. And I'm telling you now, they're going to use you guys against us. You guys are going to call a hard hit hooker. Man, listen, I can't come to work. This is what's happening. They're talking about firing me. And then you're going to get mad with me and the rest of the board because we've been pushing back on the company. So I'm telling you now, I told, I had this long conversation with my board last week about tightening up the belts, tightening up the bootstraps because it's going to get ugly. It is. And um, we need our members to make sure they're doing their part. Coming to work is like 80% of the job. They cannot fire you if you come to work on time. They, they can't do it. There's nothing this company can do if you come to work on time. Nothing. Th there's nothing they can do. And if you can't come to work, call out. You got to pick up the phone and call. The majority of our disciplines are from people who don't call out from work. About 70, about 70, the average from January up until now is around 73, 75% of all of our disciplines come from people who don't pick up the phone and say, I'm not coming. 75% of the members who are get disciplined for attendance don't call out. You guys got to call. You guys got to call out. If you don't call out, then they're going to come get you. And I don't want you to put the finger at us because we're doing our, we're going to do our thing. And we, we can't, we can't keep going back and forth with the company about certain things. We tried it. It's not working. Uh, you know, a lot of the members was calling me pig headed and bull headed. And you got to give and this, it's not working. It's, it's not working guys. I'm sorry. It's not working. They're taking advantage of it. You got 40 supervisors working a day. We filed a grievance that, 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 that has to end. That has to end. And it will end. But we need everybody to be on board. File the grievances for I'm working. Come to work. And then nothing, there's nothing UPS can do to you. Zero things they can do for to you if you come to work. And there's nothing they can do. And trust me. They want you to come to work. Uh, because um, Amazon's across the street down at Oregon Avenue. And they know. They know that if they don't change the way they do certain things, a lot of those younger members are going to go right across the street. A lot of their supervisors is going to go right across the street. So, um, you're right, Walter. Do you right. And I'm just letting you guys know that this is not Hooker afraid to fight for the members to keep their job if they this didn't. No. This is Hooker telling the members, if you don't come to work, they will fire you and they're going to use that against us because we're going to be jumping on them. That's what this is. So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, but we can't keep having supervisors working all crazy. It, it, just, it has to end and it will end. 
You know, we tried to we try we tried to work it out with him. And uh, listen, it's 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 going to get rocky. And I'm telling you, and I'm going to share this everywhere uh, because I need people to, to do the right thing. If you can't come to work, call out. If you got issues with your family, use FMLA. If you got COVID-related issues, it's, everything is on our website. How to do it, what documentation you need, follow the protocol, and you will be fine. But this local, this board, cannot be held hostage because people don't want to come to work if i'm a bad guy then i'll be a bad guy um to a lot to a few people i'm already a bad guy and um that's fine but uh there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on that needs to be corrected and i know once we really stick it stick it to them they're going to come after you guys for not coming to work not calling so i'm telling you call me company whatever i'm telling you that you got to call out. You gotta pick up the phone. You got to. Just, just, just the bottom line. So, um, and tomorrow I know they're gonna try to say, you know, we're gonna have to do this for attendance. Then they're gonna have to do it for attendance. Because we can't have 60, 70 suits working all crazy. They're gonna have to hire more people. Now they all hiring people. But the problem is, they don't wanna stay. They don't wanna stay because they're supervisors. They don't want to say and you know they're gonna to have to change the way they do business internally with our members they're gonna to have to because you because Amazon is gonna wipe them out man I'm telling you it, it may not be this year next year five years but if they don't change the way they treat our members especially the younger members they're gonna walk right on out they're gonna walk out I'm telling you they're gonna walk out air-conditioned building air-conditioning trucks full-time right off the door so, and that's why we're going to have to, as, a, as Teamsters, we're going to have to do our part in making sure we organize Amazon. We're going to have to um, because um, they're, going, they're going to hurt UPS and they're going to hurt us as well. So we got to do our part. We got to do our part too. You know, it's, it, we got to do our part too. So, you know. But, again, guys, <laughs> this, this is serious, man. Uh, after tomorrow, it's, it, there's going to be a lot of changes. And the company is going to try to make us be the enemy. And um, they're going to try. And I need everybody to be on the same page as the board, the BAs. We're going to have to fight them. That's just it. Um, and the members are going to have to stand tall. Come to work. They can't do nothing to you. Follow the directions. They can't do nothing to you. They cannot do any. If you come to work and work as instructed, you'll never get fired. Come to work and work as instructed, you never get fired. Never. You ain't got to be the best worker. You ain't got to run through your lunch. You ain't got to load a thousand trucks. Just give them an honest day work for an honest day's pay on time and, 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 and come to work. You'll be there forever. And then put it like this. This is what one manager told me years ago. He said, if everybody came to work, UPS would lose money. <laughs> Don't do that, Joe. <laughs> yeah, be on. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be on time. I'm telling you, man. We can't give this company any ammunition to get rid of us. And I know this is not popular that 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 the board would tell people these things but we, we got to transform the mindset of our workers man we got to we give ups everything they need to fire us they do they do we do we do and we got to take that back because if you like i said you come to work one time then everything will be fine everything will be fine everything will be fine but again, you know, we got to do our part. We do our part as the BAs. The members do their part. Rank and file the shop stewards. And shout out to my shop stewards. I want to thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing. I was there last night. I was talking to a driver. And he was saying that he can tell that the shop stewards are, are more together than they've ever been. And 
You can tell that. You can tell. And I appreciate you guys for doing what you're doing. Uh, like I said, we got something planned for you guys, man, because you guys are rocking and rolling. Lefty, man, my man, he, <laughs> my man, <laughs> Lefty, boy, I'm telling you, man, he, he's, he's off the hook, man. He's off the hook. He's killing him in there. Killing him in there. And I appreciate him. And listen, um, I love you guys, man. Straight up and down. Shop stores, you, man, you guys are doing a great job. Um, I, I, and, and you can tell there's a tight knit, a tight knitness, if that's a word, that this has never been there before. And I appreciate that, man. I do. Because you guys are the first line of defense. If you guys are tight knit at the first line of defense, then um, it makes our job a whole lot easier when we come down and do what we need to do. And I thank you guys for that. Now, once, now we just got to get the, the members tight knit. And I know we're not going to get everybody, but if we can get, you know, the majority of, of everybody tight knit group, UPS will be in. They'll be, yo, the, 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 the UPS here, 623, dude, they'll be in trouble, man. They'll be in some serious trouble. Serious trouble. But we working on that. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But we got time. Um, we got time. But we, we can't wait. We can't wait. You know, sooner or later, time is going to be our enemy. And right now, it's, uh, it's our ally. But we got we to gotta make sure we do the right thing. We got to make sure we do the right thing, man. Because um, this company is... Uh, they're not going to change, um, but we need to make sure that we do our part, man. Um, we got to do our part. We got to do our part, continue to do our part, um, speak to our members and um, our young drivers. Man, I was talking to an older driver yesterday, and I told him I was going to bring this up on the show. Um, management is telling our younger drivers that they got to rush to do stuff and you know and and they take it and you got to get in on time got to get in under nine five and all this stuff and they rush they go through their lunches and all this stuff and they make mistakes because they don't want the company to come down on them so talking to this driver yesterday man he made a lot of sense listen man you do you do your job take your hour lunch do do the methods there's nothing they can do to you nothing Nothing they can do to you if you do what you're supposed to do out in that truck. I never drove, um, but I listened to a lot of the older guys, and, and, I, and I wanted to mention that before we got out the air. He's, he's, he's crying out to you guys. He's, he's been driving for 27 years, and he said he sees a lot of stuff, and um, he says the young drivers, they're scared. They don't, want, they don't want the company to come after them, but they do a lot of stuff that they shouldn't do, and, and I want to... Reiterate his message. This is coming from an older guy been driving for 27 years. Follow the methods. Take your lunch. Don't let them harass you about this 9-5. If they want you in by 9-5, tell them to give you the, the, the right amount of work to get you in by 9-5. Don't, don't make their problems your problems. UPS made $1.77 billion in a pandemic off of the back of the workers. They didn't do it. They didn't. They wouldn't do that. Because they would not have made that money if it wasn't for you guys. And I, if I was them, the company, on Friday, Founders Day, man, I would make a big announcement. I would have all the news stations there, and I would say, starting today, on Founders Day, I'm giving everybody hazard pay. I'm doing this. I'm. I'm we 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 doing that. I mean, I, I. That's what I would do. Because I'm telling you, Amazon. Amazon, boy, they, they're not playing around. And with what's happening with COVID, people are not going to be going to stores. They're not going, they're not going to, uh, you know, man, this flies off the hook. They're not going to be going to stores and standing in line with all this stuff. They're going to sit home, order their stuff, and get it delivered. And guess where it's mostly going to be coming from? Amazon. So, listen, they need to do something. They need to do something to show that they care about the members. Because if not, man, they, 
they're gonna take a lot of the, Amazon is gonna take a lot of their a lot of their workers, man. Especially the younger ones. Especially the younger ones. So again, if anybody uh listening from UPS, if anybody share this and it gets to UPS, this is this is what I would do if I was you guys. The boost morale, keep your workers happy. Maybe they'll come in. Uh, maybe they might come in and help you guys out on the day off without you forcing them. Founders Day on Friday. Make a big announcement. We're giving all our members, I mean all our workers, has to pay for their hard work over the course of the year because it's, it's not only, it's, 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 it, they're going to go right into the peak. There's not going to be a break because it's, it's uh, September, I believe it's on Monday. So you t- <laughs> So you talking about from March working all these hours, going right into peak, members working 60, 70 hours. Then you then you then you you discipline them for calling out on their day off and think that's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Morale is low. Bodies are breaking down. You're causing strain on people's family lives. And uh listen. And I'm gonna be honest with you. If the family life is jacked up and it's breaking down, they're not gonna be worth nothing coming to work. And a lot of that stress is coming from work and they're taking it home because they're not seeing their wife, they're not seeing their husband, they're not seeing their kids, their grandkids. And they're working in a pandemic. You gotta work, you gotta, and the cases are going up. So all this stuff pounding on the worker, and then you're telling them if you don't come in on your day off. You're gonna get written up or fired or suspended. That's that's not how you do business with people. That's not how that's not how you run a company. This company is supposed to be this great thing, and all and a lot of us that work on the inside we know what the company really is like. A lot of the people on the outside don't know, but UPS they they are some big bullies. They are, and they that's what they do, and the union has to be bullies as well. We have to be. We gotta, we gotta stick up for our members, man. We got to, uh, because a, a lot of, a lot of them uh, just don't care, because they don't have to deal with it. They don't, they're not delivering it in the heat, in a pandemic, and they get to go home. They get to go home at a decent hour. Um, so, again, again, yeah, right. Family family lives are breaking down, um, so we got we we got we got to make sure we protect that guys. And tomorrow we're gonna do that. We're gonna go a long way in doing that. And uh, you know, and this flies off the hook, y'all. But uh, again, tomorrow we got a big meeting with labor. Um, we're gonna settle a lot of these issues that, that just keep popping up. Uh, we're gonna talk about the the the, feet of the situation. A lot of you guys have already been in contact with Kamak. I know the feeder guys, I mean the feeder stewards have been talking to him. A lot of the senior guys have been talking to him. We've written down a lot of questions to ask about this whole change. Um, the um, members out there working all these hours and then they want to force people to come in all crazy and want to discipline them. You're going to take care of all that. Uh, there's a lot of things we're gonna take care of tomorrow, and after we do it, then we'll put some out. Um, I got like I said when we first started the show, a lot of the stuff that I want to put out there, I, I can't, I can't put out there because of the fact that people like to share the stuff that we do to the company, and it gives them a heads up. And you know, you, you guys know, the one thing that the, the company does is try to divide and conquer, and I and I refuse to continue to, to fall under that. I'm just not going to do it. Um, so uh, it's not that we're trying to hide anything or not being transparent. It's just that when you got people who are um, purposely trying to get you to fail and, and try to get the company a leg up on what you're trying to do, then uh, we got to be smart. We got to be smart about it. And, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, politics is ugly. It is. It's ugly. And so... <laughs> I refuse, and this is just me, I refuse to let politics change me and transform me. Um, we, I, I, I'm, we're going to change 
we're going to change politics and the way they're done. Because regardless of who you like, who you voted for, regardless of race, gender, sexuality, if we don't come together and fight this company, we're going to lose. We're going to continue to get concessions. They're going to continue to dominate us. All because we don't like this person because of that or this, that, and the other, and the company still wins. The company don't care who you like. They don't like you. <laughs> That's why when you call uh, uh, and they want to harass you, they don't like you. So, I, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm naive, young, don't know a whole lot about politics and unions, but it, it has to change, man. It has to change. That's if people want to win a, a, against these companies. I mean, if you want to keep letting them win, then keep, you know, going back and forth, bashing each other, setting traps for one another. <laughs> Why would you even set? Uh, that's a story for another day. Oh, uh, man. But, uh, I guess I got a few more minutes. A few more minutes? All right, cool, cool, cool. So, about another 10 minutes, I'm going to get out of here. But uh, like I said, I just want to re reiterate and um, the plan moving forward, all right? So there will be no um, summer picnic this year because of the COVID. Uh, number two, we're going to continue to have Zoom membership meetings. The next one is going to be next month, probably until next year because of you can't have more than 25 people in the hall. Um, this Sunday is actually our first new hire zoom meeting um so that's going to be on sunday at 11. um joni lay miller uh she's going to be our chair for our new 623 women's caucus uh, I'm, I'm 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 glad we got that we, we're starting to get that together and i know she's excited she's been wanting to do this for like a thousand years so i know she's going to do well we're going to help her with that um oh the 623 store is up online on our website at www teamsterslocal623.org um, what else we got going on oh filing the grievances continue 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 don't be afraid Will Hooker they gonna come after me if I do this file it you gotta file it because there's articles in the contract that protects you from retaliation you gotta file you can't be scared you don't have to be scared no more I'm telling you you don't have to be scared so you, you got you got to file those grievances. We got to stick together. People who got attendance problems, you got to fix them. Um, I know this is not properly coming from the union, but listen, you got to you got to fix them. You got to call out if you got issues at home, uh, FMLA stuff that you need. We'll help you with that. Disability stuff, we'll help you with that. COVID, we'll help you with that. But you got to come to work. Don't give these guys any reason to get rid of you. Because once we do what we do, they're going to come down on you. And then you're going to get mad at us. It's a cycle. Their job is to, for you guys to get mad at us. Because if you're mad at us and we're fighting you, then we can't fight them. Because we're fighting you. I'm not going to fight you guys. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to fight you guys. I'm just letting you know fighting the company so if you can't come to work you gotta call you gotta call out if there's a pattern that they see even though with this COVID stuff and we tell people and they tell people if you're sick stay home but if you're trying to abuse it and you you sick every Tuesday and you call out they're gonna get you they're gonna get you so be smart let's be adults let's follow the contract let's do our part and then you'll be fine but, but don't give these guys any ammo to get rid of you. Because once, once this thing starts to get down, it's going to get ugly. And then it's going to be bad. Because I'm telling you, somebody's going to show them this video. And then, you know, it, it's, 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 it's going to be whatever. But um, that's why certain things I didn't say. Because there's some things that we're going to have to wait until tomorrow. Um, again, you guys, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Uh, thank you guys for giving us this opportunity. Uh, we're not perfect. Uh, we're going to make some mistakes. Uh, we're going to own up to those mistakes. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, we got to do our job to, on, on Friday. Uh, we got a Greyhound contract vote. 
And I can tell you now that I, I, in my heart, I think they're going to vote it down. And that's fine. Um, regardless of what we got for them, um, the company, um, you know, they could have gave our members something. And we get the whole COVID thing, nobody's traveling, but they could have gave our members something. And whatever happens on Friday, I'm, I'm happy because we work for the members. And so we're going to go back to the table and we're going to fight. Because I just got, to, before I came in here, I just talked to one of the Greyhound officials and I told him, hey, <laughs> this, this is how it's going to be. So it's on them. It's on them. And again, like I told you guys before, um, I know some guys get so upset when they hear all the negativity. Don't get upset. Don't get mad because it's necessary. Negativity is necessary. No matter how you feel about it, those people play a role in the development of what we're trying to do. Um, are you right, Kurt? They will. I know. I know. So, um, you know, it's just a, just a part of it, man. Uh, so I, and I embrace it when I see stuff people send me I, I embrace it sometimes I laugh because I know they don't know the whole story but it's cool I, like I said too much too much sun, too much sun burns you gotta have some rain sometime gotta have some rain gotta have some rain 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 because rain is necessary as well yep so um Again, anybody got any questions about the things that's been going on on our uh, board? Uh, I got somebody I got to call, Daryl. I'm definitely going to call you and tell you um, why we had to move away from uh, some, you know, some people on our board. I'm not going to disparage anybody. And a, a few people want me to put all this stuff out there, but I'm just not going to do that. I was talking to somebody last night, and they made some good points. It does look bad. Especially when, you know, you've been on the side of the road for years and the snow and the rain. It, the optics does look bad. It does. And I get it. And I understand it. But um, that being said, call me and we can talk about it. And then you understand, Hooker, I understand why you had to do what you had to do. And I may not like it, but I understand it. And, you know, I get why. Because... I'm just not going to disparage anybody um, or talk negatively about anybody that's on our board. Regardless of what happens, regardless of what is said, regardless of what was done, I'm just not going to do that because we're all a family. And the, the enemy is the company, not the people on the board or the, or the members. It's, it's, just not, it's just not going to happen. Um, so, and I know, I know my back is getting bit. It is getting bit down. I know. Oh my God, I can hear it. I mean, some people tell me some of the stuff people say, that's fine. That's the narrative that they choose. That's the narrative that they choose. But again, I'm not, going, I'm not here to change their narrative because they can always come down and check the record. And, that, and, that, and, that's the, and then you will see, oh, okay, I got you. So, all right, so that's just where we, that's just where we at with that. Um, what else we got? Everybody got to come together. That's 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 just the bottom line. Um, Cause it's getting ready to be. I can see it happening, uh, especially after tomorrow. If things that we put out there, I know that the company's not going to agree with. I know, and I know we're not going to agree with what they want. So it's it's, it's just going to be a lot of contention. It shouldn't be, but the nature of our jobs it will, and they're going to use you guys to 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 um go against us they will i'm telling you now that they, they're going to do it they're going to do it they're going to do it but what i need you guys to know is that it's not the members versus the board it's local 623 versus the company that's that's just the way it is even with this ibt election it's not verma it's not it's not uh, O'Brien, it's not Hoffa, it's not Alois, it's not none of them guys. It's the members, it's the Teamsters Union versus these companies that we represent, our members work for. That's what's a big that's where it has to be. It has to be that way. I get it, I understand it. You want your guy to win, um, you're gonna do whatever you can. But don't but don't <laughs> But don't tear my man down 
Especially when your man did the same thing. Don't tear this person down, especially when you did the same thing. That's that's not a good look. Yeah, that that's not that's not a good look, guys. I'm telling you. A lot of people have been turned off by this whole election, man. And a lot I I hear some bad things about people not wanting to vote because of what they see. That's not good. That's not good. You didn't hear that in 2016. You didn't hear that. People were eager to vote in 2016. They couldn't wait to vote in 2016. And now it's like, dude, I don't even want to vote, man. <laughs> I don't want to vote. And I, and uh, that's, that's not good. Guess who wins when the Guess who wins when the members don't vote? Verma don't win. Or Brian don't win. Um, Hoffa don't win. Wh whoever whoever running. Silvera don't win. Moore don't win. Guess who wins when the people don't vote? The company. So, uh, it's 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 going to be interesting. But I. We gonna get ready and get out of here, guys. Couple more minutes. I thank you guys for listening. Um, enjoy your day out there. Everybody, be safe. That's out there working. Um, everybody that watches this show later, I want you to understand that um, you know we 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 got a lot of, of of fight to give out moving forward, and the company is going to use that fight um, and try to get you guys to turn against us. I'm just letting you guys know now. Don't don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Any questions you may have, don't go to the company. Come to us. Come to us. Um, they're going to tell you what they want to get you to be afraid, to get you to be scared. Come to us. We'll tell you the truth. All right? So, again, the feeder department, you're going to take care of those questions tomorrow with the, with the uh, labor. Um everything it's a lot of stuff to talk about and i know i know it seemed like because i know you guys been hearing it uh see it on facebook the, the company this that the company is is not doing what they want to do trust me that's why we're having this meeting tomorrow uh, but again negativity sale negativity negativity sales brothers and sisters it sells um and 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 you will never hear that you you would get more press from me taking seventy five grand than the fact that the members got seventy five grand. It's just the way it is, and I embrace it all, positive, negative. It doesn't make me no difference because we got a job to do, and I I need you guys to make sure that you're doing your part. You Got to do your part. Call out if you gotta if you got to. Um, come to work, do your job. And there's nothing they can do to you. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. I'm telling you now, these next, the next few months, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of head hunting. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of it. And we're going to be in there. We, like I told my guys before, get ready. Pull your pants up, tighten up your belt. It's going to, it's going to get ugly. Um, it's going to get ugly, and they're going to use you guys to, to turn against us. I'm telling you now, don't say I didn't tell you. It's, it's going to happen. So either either you want to be, either you want to be in a union, or, or you just want to complain about the union. Can't be both. Um, I can see we weren't doing the job, but we're doing the job. Regardless of what you hear, we're doing the job. Trust me, um, we're doing the job. Is are we perfect? absolutely not could we be better oh absolutely no matter how good we doing we could always be better and we're going to strive to be better but we need the members to make sure that they are doing their part and so if i got to get on here and say hey man you got to come to work got to call i'm gonna do that because that's going to help all of us in the long run all right so again i'm gonna get out of here i know i've been saying that for a while but just stuff keep coming up so I'm going to try to do the show at least twice a month because I know a lot of people can't come out to the meetings because we're not having them. And a lot of our members don't know how to use Zoom. And a lot of people can't come out to our parking lot meetings because they're early. And so we're going to try to do these so I can get the information out to everybody as much as I can. 
All right, so we're going to get out of here. I love you guys. Probably sometime during the weekend, uh, I'll talk about what happened in the labor or hearing because a lot of it is going to affect a lot of us. Um, and we're going to talk about it, the stuff that I can talk about, the stuff that I can't or the stuff that i got to wait. I'm just going to have to wait because the way way people are really trying to set this logo up to fail is, is unbelievable. So I got to be careful. I got to be very, very careful. Um, so... Yeah, Joan, I don't know. It's, it's just wisdom, man. Just wisdom. It's not um, stress. I don't think it's stress. I think it's wisdom. My, but my wife loves it, though, so I might just keep it, though. So, <laughs> so um, I'll talk to you guys. Love you guys. Talk to you guys real, real soon. Don't forget, keep filing those grievances. Keep holding the company accountable, and we're going to be there. All right, come to us. You got our numbers, you got the hall number, you got our emails, you got the website, you got everything. Everything is, is, is to your and for your disposal. So, I love you guys. Be good. I got this meet with the guys soon. So, 623, love you guys. Talk to you. Bye-bye.